Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you nine different ways that you can use hydrogen peroxide around the house to clean, disinfect, prevent mold and mildew, and just keep your house a lot cleaner for hardly any money at all. I'm so excited to share these hacks with you. Let's get started. You can use 3% hydrogen peroxide around the house. It is non-toxic, it's a powerful disinfectant, it kills tons of different germs, toxins, and bacteria, and it can even help prevent mildew and mold from developing if used over time. Guys, it's really inexpensive and you can pick it up on the first aid aisle of the store. I am gonna be using it in my dishwasher as the first hack. My dishes came out sparkly clean and this also disinfected my dishwasher while cleaning my dishes so I loved this then you can also use it to eliminate odors in your sink and I always struggle with this in the kitchen especially so I just ran the garbage disposal to just clear it out and I'm just gonna freshen it up by pouring some hydrogen peroxide down the drain and this really did make it smell better. Hydrogen peroxide itself doesn't really have a smell, but it can eliminate odors. I'm also gonna be using it on my kitchen sponge, and it's really good to let this sit for at least 10 minutes before rinsing it or washing it. And this is just gonna kill bacteria that might be like just sitting in your sponge. Um, another thing that you can do for sponges that doesn't have to do with hydrogen peroxide you can actually microwave them but I don't know why that scares me a little bit I would rather just use the hydrogen peroxide and because my sponge was a little dirty I did use some soap just to clear it out okay I am going to be mixing hydrogen peroxide with water to make a little veggie and fruit rinse I always let me know if you guys do this I always 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 wash my produce before I eat it even if I'm gonna be peeling it I'm pretty consistent with that um, just because there's I just even think of people touching it at the grocery store and then you've got like pesticides and chemicals and all those things the wax so I just love to get that off so again you're gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes and then just because I'm gonna be eating it I'm gonna rinse it off <laughs> just because I want to be super careful my son's lunchbox comes home from school so smelly and other mamas out there and dads if you're watching let me know if you relate just the food sitting in there all day at school just smells so bad so what you can do is just do a little hydrogen peroxide scrub and I'm gonna use my really clean sponge that I just disinfected I'm just gonna use that to scrub this lunchbox out it is again gonna kill bacteria and like help remove foul odors and I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it and let it air dry because hydrogen peroxide is such a powerful disinfectant you can even use it to clean your toilet which is amazing I love using nice scented toilet bowl cleaners from like method but you guys it's pricey so this is a really inexpensive way to clean your toilet just make sure you let it sit for at least an hour or so just to make sure that it's killing all those germs and then I'm again going to put some down the drain or the sink in the bathroom just because with all the hand washing and sometimes teeth brushing and so much goes down the drain it can start to smell so this is a really nice thing to do as well all right you're gonna want to store your hydrogen peroxide in the dark brown bottle that it comes in because after it has been exposed to light for a little while it becomes weaker not as effective or powerful so right before you want to use it you can put it into a spray bottle like I'm doing but I definitely don't recommend storing it 
in a clear glass or plastic container like this but since I'm going to be using it right now it's fine I'm actually going to disinfect my counters with this and one thing that I'm not showing here but that you're going to want to do is let this sit for again about 10 minutes just so that it can work it's disinfectant magic and everything it can get nice and sanitized and again because we are using 3% hydrogen peroxide it is going to be safe on food surfaces With flu season upon us, I want to make sure and keep my daughter's toys disinfected. So I'm just going to spray some hydrogen peroxide onto a cloth. Now, be careful. Um, hydrogen peroxide can actually bleach. So you want to use either white or very, very light colored cloths when you do this. Um, but I'm just going to wipe down her toys and it's just going to make me feel so much better as she's playing with them. And sometimes little friends come over and play with the toys too so we can share germs that way. And she's only one and still puts toys in her mouth. So I am going to go ahead and do a little rinse. This is just a clean cloth with some water. A really great way to clean your shower curtain if it's plastic or if your liner is plastic like this one without having to pull it down is just to spray it directly with hydrogen peroxide and like I mentioned in the beginning this is going to help prevent mold and mildew from developing and this is a really great thing to do right before you get in the shower and you've got that hot steam in there it just helps kind of clean it off and further now again since we have flu season upon us I am really worried about the kids' toothbrushes because they share a drawer so I'm going to disinfect them by letting them sit for about an hour or two in hydrogen peroxide another solution would be just to have little caps on them but I'm just worried that they won't always remember to do that so I'm gonna try and disinfect these about once a week after testing out these hacks my absolute favorite one was the dishwasher hack I just could not believe how fresh and sparkly my dishes came out I absolutely loved this one and highly recommend it I also loved using it to freshen up my sink this again was such a great hack for me because like I mentioned I feel like my sink especially in the kitchen has a funny smell and I also loved using it on the sponge anyway guys I have another video using baking soda where I share a ton of different household hacks that have to do with cleaning if you click the video on the right it will take you straight there I'll see you over there in a second guys bye